The 13th quick tip is to learn how to use your stethoscope and your Spigmo manometer. In the physiology practical, you'll be using this to auscultate your classmates and to listen for heart sounds and your breath sounds and you would want to learn how to use this particular thing and this is the first time in your life where you'll be experiencing what it is to be a doctor when you're using a stethoscope so do learn how to use this particular instrument the 14th quick tip over here is not to be afraid of this tiny needle you're pricking yourself a lot in your physiology practicals to draw a drop of blood to be used and to be seen under the microscope and you'll be also pricking a lot of patients later on in your internal life to check for their sugars so you might as well experience it yourself in the first year itself the 15th quick tip over here is to maintain a good rapport with your seniors i've already spoken about your seniors over here but a quick hack to get in touch with your seniors over here is to take part in the college fest to take part in the activities going on in your college this is the time when you meet your seniors and develop a rapport with them You'll be invited to a lot of college clubs and out to few college events. So do go and take part over there. This is where you learn the key art of communication and convincing and negotiating with your seniors. The 16th quick tip over here is to show active participation. You are not in a neat UG preparation phase where you'll be giving up everything and just focusing on studies. Take part in the college fest, the cultural fest, the poster making competition, the essay writing competitions. The Ganesh Chaturthi Artis and so many different competitions that go around in your college and even in the college in your city. This is the time when you will connect with the students of your community. This is also the time where relationships are formed and this is the best way to grow your network during the college times. Go and meet other people, go and meet other people from different fields and try to develop a complete network of your students which you will of course look back upon in your olden days and cherish those memories forever. The 17th tip over here is for those people living in the hostels and are tired of the hostel food. Go for a few events in your college or a cultural fest and take advantage of the free refreshments that you get. Trust me, you'll thank me later. The 18th quick tip over here is to be social and maintain contacts with people such as the watchman, the nurses, the warden and these people come in handy during those crucial times during the exam when you want certain things to be done because you want to save on time or if you want to extend the hostel timings for the girls hostel when there is a cultural fest going on in your college maintain good relations with the wardens, the cleaners, the sweepers, the watchmen because these are the people that form the complete ecosystem of a college and will help you in the dire times when it is required. The 19th quick tip over here is to not take everything to heart and not take everything seriously. You are entering the college and you are a first year student. You are at the bottom most person at the hierarchy in your college. Sometimes your seniors or sometimes professors may shout at you. For example, in your dissection when you accidentally cut a muscle or a nerve, I know I have, which is why you may not want to take these shoutings right at heart. In fact, most of the times you may not even know for what you are being shouted at and therefore it is very important to develop a thick skin and not give in to and be emotional about these shoutings. The 20th quick tip over here is to never stress over an exam or the viva or the results of it. The first thing that you need to understand in your first year of MBBS is that it is absolutely okay to fail. There is no problem. Everyone fails at some point in their MBBS journey. The key over here is to learn from your mistakes, learn from your Viva mistakes or exam mistakes and bounce back in the next. There will be so many different Vivas, practical demonstrations and written exams for you to improve yourself upon and this is what you have to be a constant student in MBBS. There is absolutely no problem in the world for which a solution does not exist. The next step over here is that the heading of a particular answer is the most important thing in an answer. If the professor sees that your answer is well structured, a heading, a body and a conclusion, you tend to score more marks over a person who just written a paragraph. The way you present your answer is sometimes more important than the entire content itself. Another quick tip over here is that supposing you get a question for which you don't know the answer about. For example, the short note is on a mango tree and you don't know what to write about a mango tree. 
tie a goat to the mango tree and start answering about the goat. This is a common saying that we use in our college and this will also serve you to answer those questions which you have absolutely no clue about. The next tip is a pro tip. Never give your violet and your pink colored histology pencils to a particular friend because trust me, you will never get it back. And if you do, it will be literally be reduced to half its size because the pencils are such that they keep on breaking, the needle keeps on breaking and you will have to sharpen them constantly. Be sure to maintain your own set of histology pencils. The next tip is about your physical and mental health. Get a gym membership and start gymming from day one. This is the place where you can get rid of your stress and at the same time work on your physical health and at the same time work on your mental health also. Talking about mental health, I want to introduce you to the key concept of yoga and meditation. Learn about these two aspects about mental health, yoga and meditation and you will thank me later. Meditation changes the way your brain is structured. There are a lot of research articles coming out about meditation and they unanimously agree that meditation changes the structure of your brain in such a way that you become sensitive to energies, the positive and neg negative energies around you and this is very helpful when talking towards patients and talking to your classmates. It is all about the energy folks and yoga and meditation helps in building this very key aspect of your brain. The next quick tip is to go to the casualty during your free time. Trust me, this is the place where you understand the excitement of the medical profession. This is also the place where you learn so much more about medicine than what you can learn from the books. So during your free time, do pay the casualty a visit and you will thank me later. The next thing that you have to understand that the person who sits at the back of the class and doses off during your lectures isn't the dumbest creature on the planet. And the person who sits in the front bench of the class and pays attention to each and every single lecture religiously isn't a dull company to hang out with. You get my point? Each and every single person in medical school is unique and you can make best of friends with all kinds of students in your college. If you go through each of these single tips, you will notice a common theme that is live and let live is the motto of the college. All of these 25 plus tips are not sugar coated. It is the actual truth that is there in the medical colleges or any other college in the country. In this video, I'll try to give you as real of a scenario as possible that exists in the medical colleges of the country. You may disagree with any of the tips that I have given. Let me know in the comment section which tip is that tip that resonated the most with you and I'll be sure to respond to each and every single comment. Because it takes a lot of time to script, edit, shoot and upload these videos for all of you. So I would much appreciate a subscription on this channel. Do check out the other content on the channel, especially this video which is doing really well, which talks about the day in the life of a medical student in India, how we 20 volunteers served in the medicine wash during the COVID-19 pandemic. Do check out that particular video and as always, stay safe, stay happy, much love to everyone.